teaching English um, to non-native speakers is something I've looked at um, over a period of time, but I've actually taken the plunge now. Um, I'm in touch with a school in Singapore that's got a lot of Vietnamese students that I want to learn, initially communicate to see what sort of qualifications and stuff they were looking for, and it was pretty easy to get um, on their list. The big thing is there aren't many native Westerner um, speakers. Um, they're predominantly from the Philippines and other regions where they're ideally looking for people from US, UK, Canada, etc. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity with it. Myself, rather than just going, okay, I'm going to do this and start taking lessons, um, teaching people, instead I set up to do my certification first. So starting from today, I've started a TESOL course and I'll put information later once I've actually spoken to the school and seen that they're alright with me advertising it because some can be a bit funny. Um, but there's multiple reasons it's worth doing. You have China, you've got Vietnam and several other countries in Asia that are looking for English speakers. You've got Spain, Grenada and other countries that are related to Spain that want people speaking English. So from the ability of travelling, it's got a huge potential. The TESOL sites generally have a lot of job vacancies listed. There is also the stuff for, for doing online, because here in Spain you can get 12 to 20 euros an hour teaching online. In the Thailand Vietnamese stuff, you can get it from two dollars upwards. It depends how good your English is, but also how much you discuss how much you want. Um, if you're willing to take two dollars an hour, I'm sure they'll pay you two dollars, but if you want ten, I'm sure they'll pay you ten. It all depends on how you approach people and say, look, this is a bit low, I'm a native speaker, but I'm also certified. So from that point of view, I would say if you're serious about it, get certificated. Um, because it will help you put the plans together, the, the teaching structure. And although I have taught engineers and other people within a professional industry, it's very difficult to relate that to children and people that don't speak a word of English or looking to progress because some of it is sound like phonics and things like that. So it's all a new way of teaching for me and it's quite interesting but also from a person married to somebody from the Philippines they can also do the course later as well which opens up the opportunities for them to also learn um, and get certified and also teach online. The advantage of teaching online is you can actually get around a lot of the border issues because here in Spain you can't really work if you're the non-EU for a while but you could actually be working online and being paid out in the Philippines um, there's ways and means. The other important thing here is it's an emergency backup plan. You can get online quite easily. You can find students quite easy. And I'm going to see how it goes because I've got a few other bigger plans with this if it does pan out. And we'll wait and see. I'm not going to hatch my, uh, count my chickens before they hatch. We'll wait and see what happens.